big up, big up, big up. Good morning viewers and sub welcome back to the channel So right now quick and fast the thing get drastic police them are work people We are see changes JCF new giant task force This and a lot more So right now our first ordeal in the morning Westmoreland most wanted killed Bluefield, Westmoreland, the police here have confirmed that a man who was sitting on top the most wanted list in the parish was killed during an alleged firefight with the members of the security force squad around midday yesterday. The police said they recovered an AK-47, two magazines and 13 and 13 7.62 rounds during an operation. The deceased has been identified as 31-year-old Andre Hines, formerly of the gritty Russia community in Savlamar, Westmoreland. The police are now seeking two of Hines' cronies who reportedly escaped their dragnet during the Saturday's confrontation. Reports are that about noon, members of the Westmoreland Proactive Investigation Unit were carrying out convert surveillance in a section of Bloomfield when they got involved in a gunfight with three men. Hines was shot dead and the police later identified the two other both of Westmoreland address as 27-year-old unemployed Devani Bonnet, also called Santa of Aldery, Bloomfield and 23-year-old unemployed Mose Ramsey of Russia community. The police say Hines was wanted in connection with a multiple murders, shooting, arson and extortion. Police have urged Ramsey and Bennett to turn themselves in by tomorrow or else some of you has is no longer with us on top of yeah man, no longer with us. No more extortion collecting from this person the most wanted man in a westmoreland so we officer congrats to the police them upon this operation well driven operation police commissioner says illegal firearm business will be cracked soon an assurance has come that the island security force will make a large dent in the illegal firearm business which is being fingered as the main cause of the one ton bloodletting locally the declaration was made by the police commissioner major general anderson who also pushed back against the long-standing suggestion that poverty has led unattached or ghetto youths to be involved in crimes he gave his views during the recent launch of the joint anti-gang task force a team that involved the police and the military joint forces more strategical in a bid to rid the countries of guns gunmen and gangs anderson said the security force are determined to among their things nab those responsible for gun violence locally which he said will and timely result in Jamaicans being safe. We are going to take back these guns that are out there. We are going to put a large dent in the firearm business in Jamaica, he declared. 91% of our murders this year have been done with illegal firearms. And we are determined that we'll recover those or seize them are also more importantly apprehend the person who are doing this 
the commissioner one he noted two that the offense time person do not see the full result of these involved in illegal gun business which is seenly by the security force these are people who kill persons for money they will kill your family and they will kill their own family Again, I want to say, and I keep saying it, this is not about unattached youths. This is not about poor ghetto youths. This is about people who have made choice in life to pursue a life of crime and violence and murder, he declared, Anderson said. With the newly formed task force and other anti-crime initi initiatives, the top law enforcers said, this is a part of the ongoing transformation and moderations of the society. The security force to respond to violence which has plugged the country for two decades. We are determined that we are not going into the third decade with it as it is. And as a part of that, we would require the public support and public confidence. Mr. Anderson. So viewers... My belief is that this could work. It has been too long where we see that gunmen are creating havoc in the country. If you have more ants, you know, just leave some comment down in the comment section. I call a reason for that topic. I feel like that topic, you know, I feel like the new move, the new anti task force where the police them join with the JDF. You know, no, say, when you come on to JDF and police are work together, a whole heap of people can get rooted out. A whole heap of guns and gunmen can get rid. Because we're we, we tired of it, man. I know my Jamaican people want some breather. You know, if you can touch the road at uh, night time, at day time, and if you look back at you, and if you say, man, I go come come knock up on a family, or man, I go come shoot up on a place or something. A full time now, man, if we take back. Full time now, if we take back with, with Jamaica. With Jamaica, the land we love. A full time if we get it back now, man. We're tired of this gun, man. The gangs, too many gangs in our society. You have a one little small space and in that small space you have over like 10 different gangs. In a little small space. You can't even get a little breather without enough you look back at you. So anyway, my viewers and my sub man, I want to leave some comments down below. I want to push the video to 1k likes. Bless up. Thank you.